as we're seeing, we've so hyper analyzed this sport, and you're seeing Belichick a bit undressed because the position kind of matters. And then, as you see, we, we debate Kirk Cousins. Is he good? And then you're seeing, well, God almighty, his skill guys. A lot of guys in the league would Is be Aaron good. Is Aaron Rodgers good? But, yes. Ooh. Now, he only throws to running backs because, oh, Devontae Adams is as wrong as you Sorry. and me have ever been. That was a bad drop. Who was that? Watson? That number nine? Watson. Number nine for the Packers. Who was the old uh, tight end that no, you used to hate? Fat number 80. Fat number eight. Like, number nine might might have a, a, a claim for worst Packers receiver. It's so, di- it's so dire over there that they can't afford Alan Lazard being out. If if you're number nine, would you rather Witty know your name and bring your name up in as inept, or would you rather just be known as number nine and have no notoriety whatsoever? Yeah, I, if like in this conversation yeah. where we're talking about number nine ruining Aaron Rodgers' career, you don't want anyone to know your oh, name. You just want to be num- You just want to be number nine. I, I'm genuinely confused as to why he's still there and why he signed that contract. Number nine. No, no, Aaron Rodgers, oh. fifty million dollars. Money. Year. No, yeah. I know. I mean, well, it was all about it was all about money. All of this was about money. Like they failed you at every turn. They took the quarterback. They didn't give you weapons. And then in this off season, Adams leaves. You don't really have much to sh- like. They're giving you Sammy Watkins to work with. It just seems like it's getting worse over I, there. Why'd I, you re up for that? I have a theory, because Aaron Rodgers gets off on not having enough. If he he's terrified that if he had enough. We'd say, you know what? On second thought, Brady is better. Because, look, he's got all of these weapons, and he's not able to do anything close. You think he'd rather fall just short than win with a lot of weapons? He'd rather fight with one arm tied behind his back because it makes him look like a hero when he wins. And lose? And, well, if he wins, he looks amazing. If he loses, everyone says, well, one arm is tied behind his back. I like this. He's terrified that if you untie both hands, he's going to get rocked like he did last night. Do you think that when he finds out his starting left and right tackles are hurt, he's like, ha. (laughs) Gets a chub, yeah. Win-win for me. What an interesting theory that you guys are all getting behind here. I I watched Aaron Rodgers. It made me sad yesterday because it was – a man throwing again and again to running backs. And, yes, yeah, Sammy Watkins, three catches for 18 yards. One of the best college receivers I've ever seen. I keep waiting for him to be a great receiver for somebody. And, no, he's – it. are they just at this – I don't want to overreact to one game, but I watch that and I'm like, oh, my God, is this what this is going to look like where it's 200 constipated yards and now there's going to be an interception or two because these guys can't play – around him this is obviously not receivers who can get open uh you're 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 watching Aaron Rodgers play like Baker Mayfield was let me just throw three yards let me throw five yards I'm not going to be able to oh let's see if we can catch a tight end here uh to just slant across the middle to Jess's point though they're without starting left tackle right tackle they're without Alan Lazard and people forget very quickly that they got hammered in the opening day last year in the Superdome 38 to 3 and then won seven straight I, I think Green Bay, like the, their winning percentage with Rodgers in the floor is like 80%. Yeah. I actually think they're going to be fine. And the other thing, too, is you see Alan Lazard as their number one. Like they're trying to do so much like to bring all these different things, and that's why they're using A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones so much because they have such a lack of weapons. They're trying to reinvent their offense. But my problem is the lack of weapons, right? He's been complaining about it fairly openly, even when he had one of the best weapons in the NFL, in Devontae Adams. Are we going to cop to how wrong we were on that one? Because I have plenty of times. So I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I was wrong on Devontae Adams. He was very bad as rookie season in my defense. As wrong Terrible. as we've ever been, and he's going to miss Devontae Adams. That seems obvious. Devontae nope. Adams still seems very awesome. He, it, it, You could attribute his success to Aaron Rodgers, and then you pluck him out of there, and you put him into Las Vegas, and he's still killing it. 17 targets? 17 targets against uh, against the Chargers. He went 10 for 41 on a touchdown with 17 targets. Yeah, but we're, turned but we're, it around. He's a very good player. But we're talking about Aaron Rodgers without a lack, with a lack of weapons. You could have made the argument heading into the weekend that Mahomes was heading into that same position, and they somehow look better. That I, I know that Kansas City being good cannot be a surprise. The degree to which they were good... As someone who oh, had the Cardinals no, with six, if, no, but if you're it gonna, was like it was overwhelming. If, if you're going to do, if the, look, man, the entire <laughs> coverage of this sport will be overreaction Monday. We will do this with Baker Mayfield. We will do this with the Dolphins. We won't remember any of it six weeks from now, and then it'll all change a couple of times with injury and everything else. But. After week one, all of us are saying, man, it's going to be fun to watch the Bills and the Chiefs play at the end of another season, isn't it? Because those two teams look 
healthy, more overwhelming than everybody. I love that Woody's last part of the sentence defined the whole sentence, which was, as someone who had Cardinals with, with the points. Just, it kept going. It was like Mahomes, like 20 to 7. Like, all right, it's 20 to 7. Got this good, good. Cardinals can get a touchdown here. We're under control. But holy shit, in the second half, they come. I just kept going. Where did these these receivers just kept spawning? Number 10s were wide open all <laughs> over the field. Who is number 10 yeah. now in the Chiefs? It, it it's doesn't. a guy called Pacheco. <laughs> <laughs> He's a running back. And it doesn't help that he's that one of the guys helping Patrick Mahomes who was one of the just some guys over in Green Bay in in yeah. MBS. I I don't under well I do understand it's Tony it's a big contract right this happens to every quarterback that signs the big deal and then two years later you're wondering aloud where are all the weapons for this well happened well, with Seattle right yeah. where Russ had this big deal and it's like oh wait a second how do we pay for all the defense how do we pay for all these weapons but. It was almost Aaron Rodgers or everybody else. And Aaron Green Bay Packers said, all right, Aaron Rodgers, you're going to get your deal, but that's going to cost you MVS. That's going to cost you Devontae Adams. That's going to cost you somebody we can get in free agency. But they had a deal worked out. They had the framework to bring Devontae Adams back. And Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers were in communication. He knew Devontae Adams wasn't coming back. He still went to Green Bay. Where was he going to go, Mike? Anywhere else. The agreement was he could have just gone anywhere. So, but anywhere really, I mean, like who who has the, who has the cap space to sign him to that massive deal, that already isn't in the you know in the red for another quarterback, maybe a team closer. I just I just don't understand. He could have gone with Kyle Shanahan. He could have figured out. Look, man, these guys are so all powerful. He could have figured out. It, you don't tell me that the two time back to back MVP of the league can't pick the place where he's going even if Tom Brady's on the barber shop calling Derek Carr a motherfucker because he's saying that's the guy you won't replace me for do you not know what kind of brand I am he could have played anywhere they could have figured out the mechanics of it if you're him though do you want to be bouncing around at the end of your career like you could just stay a Packer for life be the best Packer quarterback ever get 50 million dollars a year and just write it out it's always what the 50 million means, right? It means that Patrick Mahomes is not the highest average annual value quarterback in the league. It means I am. And I'm sure he's probably looked at the quarterback salary rankings and yeah. he's probably looked at it and gone, hang on a second. Why am I getting paid you less than all these guys? That overtly? Yeah. You guys are doing it like that? He's, just scared. Scared. he's not playing for community Why service else? hours. Coward. He's a coward. <laughs> Call him what it is. Why are you guys so afraid of this take? He's a coward. He doesn't want. The responsibility well, okay. of greatness. Okay. Careful, we're trying to get him on. No, well, um, I'm going to go mean, ahead and tell the people. I'm going to, no, he's supposed to be on the last couple of weeks and he's going to be on this he's week. He's been but, everywhere. Yeah. If he doesn't come on here, he hates us. No, no, it's because he's a coward. Well, he's scared of this helping. show. Did you he's tell scared him? of this show because we hold people accountable here. No, okay. we don't. The bell. You should tell the Packers that Dan's the guy from TikTok. 